Welcome back to session five in our series of Living with Purpose. Today, I want to speak to you about SNIOP, S-N-I-O-P, SNIOP or SNIOP, whichever you prefer. I got it from a video called The Miracle Man. It's a story about a man called Morris Goodman who has a, uh, a plane accident and basically he's told that he's going to be a vegetable for the rest of his life. He won't be able to walk, he's going to be in a wheelchair, he won't be able to breathe, he won't be able to speak. It's a very inspiring video which I use in my Victim to Victor workshop outlining how he sets goals, as we are speaking about here, in order to achieve his ultimate outcome. What's his ultimate outcome? That within one year, he's going to walk into the doctor's office and shake his hand. And everyone says it's impossible, and basically at the end of the video, that's exactly what happens. But coming back to my point, what is SNIOP or SNIOP? He had this clock next to him on his hospital bed, and he looked at it every single day. And the doctors and nurses all asked him, what is SNIOP? What does that stand for? And he said, I'll tell you one day. And in, towards the end of the movie, uh, I don't want to spoil it too much for you, but the doctor walks him to the car after he's literally walked, gotten up and walked out, which he promised he'd do. That was his goal, to walk out of the hospital on his own two feet without any assistance, which he managed to do. And when they put him into the car, and uh, she, she said to him, you never did tell me what this means. What is SNIOP? What does SNIOP stand for? And he says, well, Kathy, SNIOP stands for being susceptible to the negative influences of other people. Being susceptible to the negative influences of other people. Because negative influences can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. And we need to become the porter of our own thoughts and allow only those that we want realized on our bodies. And he said, that sign helped me to remember that if I tune in to the negative influences of the people around me, I'll never achieve my goals because I'll be focusing on why I can't do it rather than why I can do it. This is going to be a very huge gift to you. Be aware that there will be people who will tell you why you can't achieve your goals, why it can't be done. And sometimes the people who are telling you actually mean well because they love you. When I was 27 years old, I bought my first BMW. And my mom, bless her cotton socks, was so concerned about me because I was now basically going to be uh, having monthly installments which were reasonably high. And I remember my mom saying to me, my son, are you sure this is the thing to do? You know, the future is so uncertain. We don't know where the country is going. Maybe you should hold off a little while before you make this decision. And I actually started questioning whether it was the right thing to do. I thought, my mom's right. The future is uncertain. But hey, <laughs> when is the future ever certain? We are living in challenging times. And obviously, obviously, you don't want to take a stupid chance. You want to make sure you take the right uh, risks. But if I had to listen to my mom, I would never have done that. And if you have to listen to other people, you'll never begin anything. I, had, I have an Italian uncle, Uncle Giovanni Scarcella. And people often say, how do you get an Italian uncle? Well, he was married to my aunt. But um, Uncle Giovanni gave me some really good advice when I bought my first car, by the way. I was 24 years old. Uh, I was living on a community in Stellenbosch. I was earning a small salary of 200 rand a month. And uh, I was tired of riding a bicycle. Uh, I lived on a, a farm where my boarding and lodge was taken care of. I had food and I had uh, meals. and uh, So food and meals is the same thing. But I had meals taken care of. I had accommodation. But I had 200 rand to spend. But I had two bicycles. And actually, you know, taking the girls out on a bicycle wasn't so cool anymore. You know, like, you ride that one, I'll ride this one. No, I wanted a car. And I saw this Beetle I wanted to buy. It was a Volkswagen Beetle, a fun bug. And it cost 5,000 Rand. Now, when you're earning 200 Rand a month, 5,000 Rand is a lot of money. And I thought, geez, how am I going to do this? And my parents said they'd lend me the money to buy the car, but I'd have to pay them back because that was their re retirement money that I was taking. And I was concerned. What if I borrow the money and I can't pay my parents back? I asked Uncle Giovanni. Admittedly, I was, <laughs> I was actually asking him because I was hoping he'd, he'd uh, give me the money because uh, he was reasonably well off, and I thought he could give me the money. But instead, he did an even better thing. He did not give me the money. He gave me advice. And he said to me, Robin, my boy, sometimes in life, you must take a chance. 
If you don't take a chance, you don't get anywhere. He said, you want to ride bicycle for the rest of your life? I said, no. He said, see, so take a chance. He said, now don't take stupid a chance. Eh? Don't buy Ferrari. You must take right size a chance. But you are a good boy. I know you will pay your parents back. And I borrowed the money from, from my parents. I paid them back within one year. And so why am I sharing that with you? Is that you need to be willing to take risks if you are going to achieve the goals that you've set for yourself. If you are not prepared to take risks, you're not going to get anywhere. And when you are taking risks, remember, you don't want to take stupid size a chance. You want to take right size a chance. Don't buy Ferrari. Take right size a chance. So that's the first thing around that. The second one is be aware of the negative influences of other people because you don't want other people to influence the decision for you. Get their advice, but at the end of the day, you make the choice about what it is that you want because this is your life. So in closure of this particular vlog, the point I'd like to make is be aware of the negative influences of around of, from other people. And what I mean by that is even the media. I've spoken to you about this before. It's good to know what's going on in the world. It's good to be informed. But you don't have to be inundated. And most of that is negative energy. Watch the negative influences coming from other people. The second thing, be prepared to take risks, but make sure that you are taking the right risks. I want to thank you again for tuning into this particular vlog. I look forward to being with you again next week. And as always, don't forget to be awesome.